from LA Late News headquarters in Santa Monica, this is Mornings LA Late. It's a big mor morning of Mornings LA with incredible great news about your fourth stimulus check update of 2022. A fourth stimulus check has landed in every U.S. state and today we're going to go over how you can get it and how other viewers have gotten it in recent days on this channel and the breaking news that impacts future checks as well. A fourth stimulus check has landed in every U.S. state. To get it, first become a member. Go to the top of the chat, subscribe, become a member and get that newsletter and over this broadcast we'll go over that fourth stimulus check and how you get it in every U.S. state. The breaking details today is the Dow Jones is starting tumultuously down 500 points on top of the massive implosion of the last few weeks. What's going on? All the latest details as economic data continues to unravel. And this Wednesday, we get the consumer price index number signaling potential stagflation and signaling there is a lot of problems going on with this U.S. economy. All the latest details on the projections for Wednesday's number that were released minutes ago. I have them for you. Then one of the Fed governors spoke this morning about where he thinks interest rates are going by December. This is big because it impacts your SS300. I have the latest analysis in today's recording. Then Build Back Better Act getting lots of push because the economic data is so bad. But with that Build Back Better Act getting a push, those would be additional. You heard me write additional forcible checks on top of the checks that are already in every U.S. state. What is the latest on that? I'll have it in today's recording. Then we go over to student loan debt forgiveness. We have a preview of tonight's evening's LA. And at 11 a.m. today, I have my live interactive chat with you. So if you have questions about any of these checks, bring them up right then. But stay to the very end of this big broadcast from the shores of Santa Monica, California today, because I want to make sure you get your homework done by the assignment deadline of tonight. A forced to must check application was to be gotten by every viewer in by tonight for a second check. I'll go over that assignment, but first become a member. The toast is toasting, the butter is butter, and the coffee is brewing. A forced to must check is landed in every U.S. state, and we we'll go over all that deliciousness as Mornings LA Light Live On Air starts right now. Good morning, everybody. I hope you're having a beautiful day. It is gorgeous here along the coast in Santa Monica, California. The wind came in. You may see it a little bit on set. And with that wind, there is a gorgeous, clear sky. Have you become a member? Become a member right today. Subscribe as well to get that incredible newsletter Monday through Friday and to get that forced check that is in every U.S. state. Over today's recording, we're going to go over the countdown to your assignment deadline tonight to apply for a second for a check. We have a lot of breaking news over this broadcast today as the toast is toast and the butter is butter and the coffee is brewing. The latest data, <laughs> boy, the markets have just opened. The Dow Jones have just opened today and they're down another 500 points. <laughs> boy, what is going on? Americans are understanding the economy is going down the drain very quickly and they're ready to sell, sell, sell. They opened the markets this morning and everyone came in and started selling. The good news for you is that a forcible check is in every U.S. state. Over this broadcast, we're going to go over Build Back Better Act, its new push, SS300, a little bit of preview of student loan debt forgiveness, six stimulus, a preview of that tonight on evening's eight, and more. Plus, I'll go over how for you to get those forcible checks in every U.S. state. Stay to the very end. We got a big broadcast. And I got a preview of today's noontime show coming up at 11 a.m. live on air. Deliciousness. Let's go to the incredible details as we start a new day. A forced stimulus check has landed in every U.S. state across the land. And that forced stimulus check is huge. It is absolutely incredible. And viewers have gotten their applications in for it. Later in this recording, I'll show you how to get your first and your second applications in for this forced stimulus check in every U.S. state. Now. That is already in every U.S. state. 
In addition to that, let's say that again, in addition to that, the Build Back Better Act would give you fifteen to eighty thousand dollars of extra checks on top of those four stimulus checks in every U.S. state. The latest status on the Build Back Better Act is all good. Why? Because the economic data is all bad. <laughs> if there's something very inherent here is that every American now knows this economy is bad. If every American now knows it, so does congressional leaders. This is not like 30 days ago. This is not like last year, where people said, maybe you don't need stimulus. Maybe the economy is doing well. Now, a new CNN poll released over the weekend of registered Democrats and registered Republicans had a 70% disapproval rating of Joseph Biden's performance in office. The number one issue, the economy. And then when polled, 56% of people polled blamed Joseph Biden for the current status of the economy. Interesting question. The question presumes the economy is bad. That is the response from the, from the, from the pollsters to the question. Now, what does that mean for Build Back Better Act? It means that Democrats have to get it done to survive in the midterm elections. They have to get it done. And the Republicans have two choices. Let's go over the situation on this front as well. Midterm elections. You're not going to vote in November. You're going to vote three months ahead of time because you vote by mail now. And if you're going to vote by mail ahead of time, three months ahead of time, that means they need the check in your hand before you vote. To get that check in your hand before you vote from Build Back Better, then they got to get the negotiations wrapped in the month of May. In fact, they are. Negotiations are currently underway between the president, Joe Manchin, and Kristen Sinema with a prepared vote by Memorial Day weekend. Good. Now, what's the focus of the Democrats? What's the focus of the Republicans? Democrats have to get the Build Back Better done. They have to get it passed. Why? Because they're part in control. The economy is bad, Americans now say in poll after poll. And they need to see something to solidify an assistance to an economy that's bad. The party in control, Democrats have to get it done. So that's pretty clear. They got to pass Build Back Better Act, the Democrats, or they're gone. Now, let's look at the Republicans. The Republicans have an interesting dance step. If the Republicans believe they can roll the dice and hope that the current polls will be the same polls in November, then Republicans likely do nothing. But that's very risky. Polls change, economies change. And to simply say that the approval rating will be as weak, and that people will continue to blame Joe Biden then, mm, that's a difficult battle. So it's a safer way for Republicans to deal with the situation is to understand that most Americans, when they vote, need to see that the person they're voting for did something for them to fix a situation. And that's why bipartisan support for Build Back Better Act is more important than not doing it uh, by, by, by unilateral support. The situation for Build Back Better Act is there's a lot of additional, you heard me right, additional checks in there that would give you extra money on top of the existing checks that are currently already in every U.S. state. A forced stimulus check is in every U.S. state, but the Build Back Better Act would give you extra checks on that. We covered that over this channel over the last year. For example, there's about fifteen dollars to $80,000 of checks in there. Over three classes and three add-ons, like the add-on of $25,000 uh, for, for the purchase of your first home, like the add-on of a potential MSC check, like the add-on of $250 billion of free home health care for seniors and people on disabilities. Then we got those individual clusters, free internet, farmers checks, independent contractors checks. Then we had those uh, paid leave. That first cluster had the hazard pay, elder care the uh, new electric vehicle, that is all Build Back Better Act. Now, what supports Build Back Better Act? Two things, midterm elections and bad economic data. <laughs> we got both of them right today. And the data continues to unravel. New farm payrolls missing by 60,000. The inflationary number hovering still about 8%, more about that second. Then we have the recessionary concerns. We have the stock market in, in bear market territory. Dancing pair, no dancing bear. <clears throat> and the numbers continue to get worse. Housing starts down four consecutive months. Auto sales down dramatically. New and then last week hit both with a lieu of used car sales. And the data signals that if there's so much bad economic data, you got to get Build Back Better Act done. Now, 
Is Joe Biden to blame for all this? No. In 2020, I named this person the Temple of Doom because she was to blame for a lot of stuff. Guess who's the Temple of Doom for 2022 on this channel? This guy, Jay Powell. Jay Powell is messing it all up, folks. And that is why, in my opinion, Wall Street is imploding day after day. The Dow, if you've not watched this channel the last two weeks, has really seen territories we haven't seen in a long time. The Dow is down six consecutive weeks from now in the seventh week. <laughs> NASDAQ is to the lowest levels we've seen since 2012. We have a lot of stocks trading at levels we've not seen since about 2018. Uh, stocks are down not one year, but year and a half lows. And 10-year Treasury note. Very high, 3.3%. It was 3.13 on Thursday. It was 3.0 on Wednesday last week. Mortgage rates surging out of control. Your debt is going to be very expensive. Everything is getting really, really quite bad. Um, and that comes on the news that j Powell raised interest rates a half a basis point last week at the May FOMC meeting. Why is j Powell getting this wrong? j Powell is getting this wrong because... Historically, the Federal Reserve, his office, raising interest rates does not get down inflation. And this time again, it's not going to work. And now Wall Street is seen waking up to what I've been reporting for three months. Let's make this a little bit clear. You know what, as our community here, Purple Power, we know as a family, because I've been reporting for three months that we're going to recession for two years starting next year, that the economy is going to shrink by the end of the year, that we're shrinking as economy, we're not growing. We were at 7.1% projected GDP growth of an economy back in April. Then we came in lower, 69 that we're at 4%, that we're going to zero by the end of the year. You know that. But people who don't want that watch this channel are starting to wake up and realize, wait a second, my stocks have lost all their value in one year. Wait a second, my crypto is now worthless. Wait a second, housing prices are plummeting dramatically. There's inventory out there. I might not be able to sell my house. Wait a second, my car that I bought last year, I thought all car prices are going to go up. They're going down. Even the price of lobster shorts have gone down, <laughs> although they never had a value. Uh, so why is this important for your SS300? SS300, this helps. It also helps build back better, as we just went over. SS300 is swapping COLA for inflation. And if you swap that COLA for inflation today, well, guess what? That inflation's hot. If you swap that COLA for inflation, you'd likely get $200 more per month, not just this month, not just this year, but lifetime. Because once your benefits go up, they never go down. Then if inflation tracks at 4% later this year, you get another $100. That would be SS300. What's at issue? When running for president of the United States and then in his presidential platform, JoeBiden.com, he represented your president, that he's going to swap COLA for inflation. Swapping COLA for inflation is important. Guess what? You're getting cheated with COLA. COLA came in at 5% last December. Your benefits went up 5%. They should have gone up 8%. That is what inflation tracked at. Now, the good news is that if he makes that swap today, you'd lock in $200 more per month. Let's go over what's going on with SS300. Last year, Jay Powell said, as head of the Federal Reserve, that inflation is going to come in at 2 to 3% and be transitory. I hated that word. <laughs> I had to continually come on camera and explain what this pedantic word transitory meant. I never used the word. Do you use the word? I don't use the word. It means temporary. Well, guess what? He was wrong. And the word was pedantic. So <laughs> the word was pedantic. Guess what? Inflation came in at 8% in December, then it went to 8% in January, 8% in February. I kept on getting it right. I projected 8% all last year. Then I projected that it was going to go higher. It did. From February to March, the inflation went higher than even 8%. As energy prices of goods, gasoline at the market, at the pump, went up 11%. Fresh fruits and vegetables went up 3% from February to March. Well, guess what happens this Wednesday? This Wednesday, the Consumer Price Index number is released that shows us what happened with those goods between March and now April. And what's the latest analyst reports coming out this morning? This is breaking news right now. You're here for the first time on this channel. They're projecting the numbers to be about the same. That's what I said last week. I said I'm, this Wednesday number is not a pure inflation number. So you're not going to see 8% or 7.9%. You're going to see numbers that are benchmarks for inflation. But I think that those benchmarks signal we're somewhere around 7.9 for inflation, 7.9, 8, 8, 1, 8, 2. 
What's the projection right now? Well, the projection right now came in minutes ago. The Dow is looking that Wednesday's number will come in at about 8.1% year to date. It's not inflation number, it's CPI. And that is compared to the month before that was 85 so compared to the prior number, 8.5, 30 days ago, it's going to come in at 8.1%. A little bit less. I don't really care. So the good news is that Joe makes that swap from cold into inflation today. You lock in at $200 more per month. Then what about the end of the year? Well, the end of the year, I'm projecting 4% inflation. That would give you another $100. That's SS300. Now, j Powell, <laughs> I would have laughed here. I want to laugh because it looks ridiculous. Jay Powell says that inflation is going to get down to 1.9% by the end of the year. Guess who said something different in England? The Bank of England. <laughs> the Bank of England last week said that we're raising interest rates in England and that we're trying to battle inflation in England and that inflation by December will not go to 2%. It'll go to 10%. <laughs> Do you think England has it right and we have it so wrong? Yeah. <laughs> England says inflation is going to 10% by December. And those Americans, I think they're getting 1.9%. That's why we got rid of them centuries ago. <laughs> get out of this country. Yeah. And j Powell is just ridiculous. He ain't going to get a 1.9% by December. No. That's why when I say 4%, he's lucky if he gets to 4%. And that's good news for you, because that would be another $100 for your SS300. Now, who spoke this morning? A person who spoke this morning was one of j Powell's governors. And this guy was from Minneapolis. Federal Reserve President of Minneapolis, Neil Kashari, appeared on broadcast media about two hours ago. And he said that I'm confident we're getting down to the inflation rate by December of 2% target. <laughs> <laughs> Want to put a wager on that? Yeah, just come on already. This is just ridiculous. Where do you come up with these jokes, Seinfeld? Uh, just you're not getting to 2% by December, Neil. No one buys it. Just come on already. Then he says, I'm not confident how much that burden will be uh, carrying on our economy. Well, I'm confident it's going to be horrible. <laughs> it's going to be horrible. All right, now here comes the part of the quote I'm not happy about, and I'm not laughing. Let's listen to the quote carefully as a family in the in these times the lowest income americans are most punished by these climbing prices of inflation and yet your policy tools tap down the inflation most directly affect those lower income americans uh who are impacted by their mortgage and it's their jobs that are most likely put at risk I hate that quote. I got to tell you, I hate that quote. I got to hate that quote because it shows you. I want to pick up the phone and call me. I'm like, you don't know what the world you're talking about. The lowest income Americans don't have mortgages. They don't own homes. Hello. And the lowest income Americans are not employed. Who are they? They are people like retirees, people on benefits like SSI, SSDI, veterans. And yes, they are hurt the most by inflation because they are, getting, they are not getting a bigger check from Joe Biden. They go to the market. They pay more for bread. Their check for benefits in the mail is seen with the same check. This is why Joe Biden needs to do what he said. Swap that color for inflation right today. Because yes, inflation hurts people the most who make the least. And that is people like SSI and SSDI and veterans or retirees who don't have an income, who don't have a job. And that is why swapping that cola for inflation today is what works. It alleviates their burdens across the board. The good news is that a forced stimulus check is in every U.S. state. A forced stimulus check is in every U.S. state. As a community and as a family and as a Purple Power community here, you have done it so well. Over a week ago, uh, actually it was a week ago today, that I first debuted LA 101. Teaching viewers of this channel that, despite what's going on with Bill Back Better Act, SS300, all these other items, the great news right now for you and this community is that a forced stimulus check is now in every U.S. state for you. And the membership of this channel is getting it. How do you get it if you just found this channel today? How do you get your application on file? How do you do your homework, which was a sign over the weekend that's due by tonight? 
You first become a member, second subscribe, then get that newsletter Monday through Friday, 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, via the YouTube alert system to get that forcible check that is in every U.S. state. If you're in the live chat right now, I'm going to jump in with the live chat with you during the commercial break. A forced stimulus check is in every U.S. state. Write that in the live chat right now, and I'll re-graduate re you from L8101. A fourth stimulus check is now in every U.S. state. Then we're going to turn to L8202, L8303, L8404. You have a homework assignment for tonight. You remember what it is? Yeah, it's to get your second application in on file. If you haven't done it, I'll get you ready to get it done by tonight. It's due by evening's L8. Then, I showed you yesterday, LA 404 Plus. We'll get ready for a brand new one, LA 404 Plus 2.0, debuting in the second half of this video. Plus, we got some free internet. Or is it? <laughs> Joe Biden had a major announcement about internet. It's coming up in the second half of this video. Then we got exciting details coming up later in the end. Stay to the very end. But first, during the commercial break, make sure you become a member. And after the commercial break, we'll be back with those incredible checks. The toast is toasting. The butter is buttering. The cough is brewing. We're live on air. It's a brand new week with brand new checks. I'm excited you're here. I'll be back with you in 60 seconds as Morning Daylight continues. If you want money right now, not five days from now, and not five weeks from now, then reach out to the community page. The volunteers can help you find that money for rent and utilities. That's at news.la.com forward slash community. The community page features a series of volunteers who are viewers like you. They can help you find rent, utilities, SNAP, food benefits, mortgage assistance, and help you with eviction moratorium questions as well. Their Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram individuals reach out to them and indicate the city and state you're from, and they'll get back to you shortly. That's a community page. Volunteers working for you, viewers helping one another. Stay with LA for more. Join LA Late Daily for the excitement of the new LA Late Live Daily. The excitement starts on mornings LA Late at 9 a.m. LA Late returns at 11 a.m. daily. And then afternoons LA Late at 1 p.m. Join us daily as the excitement continues live from Santa Monica on LA Late. And the incredible details continue right now, live on air for Mornings LA. I hope you're having a beautiful day. It's a new week with new checks. Are you ready to get them? I bet you are. I'll be jumping the live chat with you in just a second. A forced stimulus check has now become law in every U.S. state. A forced stimulus check has landed in every U.S. state. Write that in the live chat right now, and I will re-graduate you from L8101. What's going on? First, subscribe. Then, become a member. Get that incredible newsletter Monday through Friday, 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time via the YouTube alert system. And let's get to the great checks starting right now. Well, it was a week ago today that I debuted to this channel's viewers a way to break this down and do this very simple step by step. And step one was LA 101. Just repeating in the live chat, writing out right now, a forced stimulus check is live in every U.S. state. And with that, you graduate from LA 101. Pretty simple. At the next class, LA 202, I ask viewers to remember what are the forced stimulus checks that are in every U.S. state. If you're in the live chat right now, write the check names that are forced stimulus checks in every, what's that keyword, every U.S. state. Let's see if you can do it right now. A forced stimulus check is now live in every U.S. state, and let's see who's got it right. Yes, there we go. I see you got it. Forced stimulus check A, B, and C is now live in every U.S. state. If you wrote that as well, congratulations. You have now graduated from LA 202. At LA 303, then I gave people a homework assignment. On Cinco de Mayo last week, I gave viewers 24 hours to go apply 
for one of those three checks that are in every U.S. state. Your choice. You can choose check A, check B, or check C. Within 24 hours, I wanted you to apply for one of those three checks of your choosing. And viewers did it. Over a thousand by the next day came in to the Evening Daily broadcast and had applied for that fourth stimulus check in their state. Now, if you didn't do that, you're new to this channel, you just found, became a member, let's say you're gone for a week, don't worry, you can do it right now with me, I'll get you caught up. The four stimulus checks that are available in every U.S. state are A, B, and C. So let's go over each of them one at a time. And if you're in the live chat and you did your homework, then repost again when we get to your check. Did you apply for check A? If you're in the live chat right now, then write check A. How do you apply for a four stimulus check of check A? Very simple. Check A is a $6,500 to $12,000 four stimulus check in every U.S. state. The income qualification is the same as a third stimulus check. Single individual, $75,000 or less. Married couple, $150,000 or less. And if you're on benefits, SSI or SSDI, you can get it. Veterans benefits as well. It's called the Homeowner's Weatherizing Grant Check. How do you get it? Series of very simple steps. Step one, become a subscriber. Go to the top of the chat or under the description of the video and subscribe. Step two, become a member. Then wait for that incredible L8 newsletter Monday through Friday, 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Go to the front of this channel and there's a bell and make sure you have alerts set to all on. There's that bell. Click it and make sure it's set to all on. And when you're a member, join right now, Purple Hawk, Purple Power, Calcino VIP, you will get that newsletter Monday through Friday, 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. When you get that newsletter, you go and apply for Check A. So simple. Go into that newsletter, go down to Check A, and where you see it, there'll be a web link, an internet link. You click the link, and you go in and apply. It'll send you to the nationwide website. Then you choose your state, like Tennessee. Then the Tennessee Homeowners Weatherizing Grant Check, and you apply. You're done. How simple is that? If you apply for Check A for your homework assignment, write Check A in the live chat right now. And congratulations, you have graduated from L8303. Now, let's go to Check B. Who did Check B for their homework assignment for L8303? Write in the live chat if you did Check B right now. It is a fifteen dollars to $80,000 for stimulus check. It is the same income qualification as before and the same beneficiaries as well. This is the homeowner's weather, this is the homeowner's grant check. How do you get check B? So simple. So almost the same way as check A. First, subscribe. Second, become a member. Get that incredible newsletter Monday through Friday for members. 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time via the YouTube alerts. Then go into that membership newsletter. Go down to Check B in the membership newsletter. There it is. It gives you a description, then a link. Click the link, and it sends you into the Nationwide website for the application. It has a map in the Nationwide website for the application. Choose your state, like Tennessee. And then it routes you to your respective state, and you submit, and you're done. How simple is that? It's just a lot of movements of the finger. <laughs> Subscribe, push. Become a member, push. Oh, there's a newsletter. Let's go down the newsletter to check. Let's say it's B. Uh, B, there it is. There's the link. I see it. Push. Go into the link. Choose the state. Push. Type your name, phone number, push. Done. How simple is that? <laughs> it's just very, very simple. That is check A. If you got apply for check B for excuse me, check B. If you apply for check B for your homework assignment for LA303, post it in live chat and congratulations. You graduate from LA303. Let's go to check C. Even easier. Check C is also in that incredible newsletter. What do you do? You go down in that incredible newsletter and you go down to where it says check C. It tells you who to call, what to say, and how to do it. It's a $2,000 over 12 months approximate, che approximate check, and it tells you in the newsletter, these are the places you call. There's about 15 of them. You call them all. It says what to say to them. It says how to do it. All in the newsletter under check C, and all you do is just call and follow along with what the newsletter says for you to do. I basically do everything except call the phone number for you. <laughs> you see how simple this is? 
I've taken all these different checks that are four stimulus checks that are already in your state. Combine them in a simple way that is a newsletter. It's delivered to you as a member Monday through Friday, and all you got to do is go through that newsletter and go down and follow the instructions, click, push, and call, and you're f there you go. Congratulations to everyone who got their applications in for check A, B, and C last week and graduated from Ally 303. Now, you know there's a homework assignment. Yeah, there's a homework assignment due tonight for the 5 o'clock Evenings LA show. What is it? The homework assignment is to go apply for a second application for a forced stimulus check. So you've already done one application. Your homework assignment is to apply for a second one. Let's say you applied for check A last week, then go do B. Or you did B, now to go do A. Let's say you did one of the Cs, do a different C. Let's say you did the gas bill, now go do the water bill. Let's say you did the electric bill, now go get some rent. Or let's say you did the rent with the county, now go get the rent for the nonprofits. Yes, you can do both at the same time. Your homework assignment is due tonight at 5 o'clock Pacific Standard Time for Evenings LA, America's Most Watched Show in Prime Time. I'll be in the live chat. I'll be looking to see who got A, A, B, B, C, C, well, not A, 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 B, B, C, things like that. I'll be watching you in that Evenings LA show. Now, two other items. One was debuted yesterday at LA 404 Plus, and today, a brand new LA 404 Plus Part 2. Yesterday, when I debuted LA 404 Plus, I thought I caused a tsunami. Why? Because some people didn't hear the introductory remarks, so let me say it slower this time. LA 404 Plus is very, very, very important. What is the concept of LA 404 Plus? When you're applying for four stimulus checks, do not include other things in the discussion for the application because the person receiving the application does not care. For example, you're going to apply for a four stimulus check. And I want to tell you that I wear beautiful purple shirts. And I wear beautiful purple shirts. And I stand in front of beautiful purple orchids. And we have beautiful weather. And, and my hair is up. And the response is, I don't care. <laughs> I don't care, sir. Just apply for the darn check. <laughs> so the way you graduate from LA 404 Plus is you write in the live chat, I don't care. It's not that I don't care that you wear shirts. Well, I hope you wear shirts. <laughs> It's that it's not part of the application. No one cares that you wear a purple shirt. They're not going to approve you for the check whether you're wearing purple shirts or green shirts. But they may deny you if you're wearing lobster shorts. <laughs> so there you go. The examples, we're going to start right now. So get ready to write in the live chat, I don't care. That's the answer to every single question for LA 404+. Plus. During the application process, you say, and by the way, I'm 85 years old. The response is, I don't care. The application does not approve or disapprove you based upon your age. It is not an age-based application. The four stimulus check in every U.S. state is given to you based upon your application, not based upon your age. So if you're bringing up your age, I don't care. It's not part of the application process. Next, if you say... Uh, I'm on SSI and SSDI. The response, again, is I don't care. The application does not approve you or disapprove you based upon the fact that you're on benefits. So being on SSI and SSDI veterans benefits is not part of the equation, not part, it's not relevant to the application process. So do not bring it up. The response is I don't care. The third one, what state you're in. I'm in the state of Texas. Again, the response is, I don't care. The applications are ministered by the states. So they already know what state you're in. And finally, let's see if you can answer the last one yourself in the live chat. I'm a hazard pay worker. I run, work the front line during the pandemic every single day. I was an essential worker. I worked as a nurse. I worked as a teacher. I worked 50-hour days every single day as a front line worker. Yeah, you got it right. I don't care. It's not part of the application process. It is irrelevant to the application process, so do not make the application more complicated than it is. Do not bring up these factors. All right, now, today we see another 
provision, another quick class, and this one is LA 404 Plus 2.0. In this one, we're going to go over something brand new. And the brand new one was spurred by a few comments I saw over the weekend. The comment is the following, where a person says something. I'm going to give you the answer. The way you graduate from this one, again, is not I don't care, but this time is zip it. <laughs> and for your lobster shorts as well, zip it. <laughs> so this one is zip it. If you see someone write this, you have learned from LA 404 Plus 2.0 to tell them to zip it. What is the question that you want to tell them to zip it to? Here it comes. A person who jumps in the live chat and says, when are they going to give the checks to the rest of us? The response is zip it. Zip it. Because who's the us? Uh, you know, aliens from Pluto? <laughs> Dancing and lobsters, dancing bears, dancing bears. Uh, who is the us? Us, our checks are now. Our checks are now. If you are a an, um, uh, if you are a person, <laughs> not a lobster, uh, and if you have and if you are ready to get checks, the checks are there now. The us is no one else. <laughs> the checks are available right now so if you see someone in any of the chat saying when are they giving checks to the rest of us no your four most checks are available right now zip it <laughs> so there you go your homework assignment is due tonight is to by Eames la apply for that second check why am i being so very tough and moving you along so quickly first i know you can do it and you've done such a wonderful job you have done such an incredible job, and I know that sense of accomplishment you feel in your hearts. People just feel overwhelmed. People just feel so happy with themselves that they have watched a video, that they have learned what something is, that they have gone out and gotten the application in for it, and they know that they have done everything that they need in their capacity to be ahead of the ball game. Then when I tell them to go get a second check, they're like, of course. Some of them have already gotten the second check. They're, of course, yes, let me go get it. That's the first reason. The first reason is that these checks are going to run out of money. They're going to run out of money. And I don't have time for you to sit around and think about this and get to it three months from now, and then they're out of money. No, no, no. Second, as someone said during the live chat, I started doing the commercial break, it's going to get very bad out there. I've been telling you this for three months. I can remember back in, uh, I think it was March, I told someone, not on camera, just walking around, we're going to recession in two years starting next year. The person just froze because people were not talking about it back in March, certainly not February. I think I may have said it to the person in February, actually. Uh, people just froze. Now, the reality is Americans know there's something wrong going on with this economy. And they see it whether they own stocks, whether they own bonds, whether they own a used car, whether they own real estate, whether they own lobster shorts and they're falling to the ground. Oh, bad visual. <laughs> they see things that is really devaluing or going bad across the board. And when that's happening, what do you do as Paul Shooter Jones, that billionaire hedge fund investor, which I featured over the weekend, said, you save money. You hoard cash. You put it away. And I don't know what your circumstance is, but anyone who thinks, well, I'm not that bad off yet. No, get the cash now, put it away, save it, because we're heading to something not so good in the distant future. Now, I have interesting news from the White House. I was going to say really great news, but I don't know if it's really great news. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, I don't, all I do know is I don't have time to fact check it, and I think that it may be inaccurate. <laughs> So there we go. I'm being a little blunt today. Um, a new announcement by the White House is that the White House is now offering, here we go, drum roll, cheaper internet. Wait a second. We've been giving free internet on this channel for ages. <laughs> yeah, we've been doing free internet on this channel forever. forever. Uh, let's turn back to Dreamweaver and Brother Joshua and all my wonderful volunteers from 2020. I've been doing free internet on this channel forever. But the West today announced cheaper internet. Uh, you know, this is not as good as what we've been doing here. So let me just tell you what it is. You look it up. Maybe you like it. Maybe you don't. Uh, the White House announced today that it has made agreement with 20... Um, U.S. Uh, internet providers to provide 
low-income people, cheaper internet, or uh, higher speed internet for what they already were getting. And the how do you get it? Let's just cut to the chase. You go to a website which is called, I think it's called getinternet.gov. Uh, yeah, it is. <laughs> it's, it's just so ridiculous. Uh, yeah, I think it's called get internet get internet.gov yeah it is there it is get internet.gov and type in your name and address it'll tell you where it is it'll tell you where it's all bottom line is i i don't think it's as good as what we're doing on the show which is free internet not cheaper internet um and the name of the program is called the affordable connectivity program there you go all right, now let's go into what is going on with that Wednesday data. On Wednesday, the consumer price index number is going to be released. It's going to show us where that inflation is right today. Uh, it's important to know that the number is going to be really basically where we are today, which is great for that SS300. Joni, makes, Joni Biden needs to make that swap and call it to inflation right today. That will lock in that $200 more per month. And if inflation tracks at 4% later this year, that will be $300 more per month. The Build Back Better Act really heating up. There was ever a time to do Build Back Better Act. It's now because every American knows there's something wrong with this economy. Every congressman knows there's something wrong with this economy. Every Republican and Democrat knows there's something wrong with this economy. So they really got to get it going done, getting done right away. This is a no-brainer at this point. This is not like four months ago where we're, some people were saying, maybe we're too good as an economy. Maybe we're too strong. Maybe we're too weak. No, we're weak across the board. Finally, uh, a commentary for me, which is, whatever happened to crypto? <laughs> whatever happened to the crypto shows on this channel? This is how I guide you ahead of the ball. And back in about two months ago, I saw that crypto was going like this and this. It was going up and then down and up and then down. It wasn't going anywhere. But stocks were going up at the time. Stocks were going up. Bonds were going up. And I thought to myself, how can I do crypto if it doesn't look like the better investment in this environment? Well, I, I, I stopped making the crypto shows then. And now the landscape of crypto is horrible. The landscape of crypto right now is it's not an investment that is appreciated. It's not going up. It's going down. Every day is worse. Today, Bitcoin is 32000 Um, Cardano is $0.78. Cents. I mean, Cardano used to be a $3 coin. You go to three dollars and seventy eight cents, you're losing, you know, eighty five percent of your investment. Um, Decentraland is doing relatively decent; it's one seventy six, so that's quite good. But most of the coins are going to get worse. If you think that your, if you think your Amazon or your um, your Nike stock is down, get ready for your crypto to be dramatically down. And that is why I can't tell you uh, to to be in, uh, what to do with crypto. If it's just a down market, there are some people out there who want to tell you, go buy crypto. It'll eventually go to this number. I can't make that recording because eventually it means you have to wait out like Kathy Wood has. She wait out five years. Uh, I, I can't do that recording. I got to get you money right now. I got to get you money and continue to appreciate what you have. And that's the focus of this channel. That is why it's so important to remember that a forced stimulus check is in every U.S. state now, today. And your homework assignment by tonight is if you are an existing member and did L8303 last week and you got your first application in on file, your homework for by 5 o'clock tonight is get to your second application on file. If you just found this channel, I'm going to give you, uh, I'm going to give you time to get your first done. If you just became a member over the weekend or just became a member today, then I'll give you two more days because you don't even have the newsletter till tonight. Once you get the newsletter, I want you to get your first application in right away. Don't want you to wait. How do you do this? Become a member. Get that incredible newsletter Monday through Friday, 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, via the YouTube alert system. Let's repeat again. You want to go to the top of the chat, subscribe, then become a member, then hit that little bell and make sure the notification is set to all to on. Coming up is a brand new Noontime. Oh, yes, I'm back on live on Noontime. I'll be answering your questions Q&A on Noontime. And we'll be discussing something deliciousness. Yes, the food is coming back to home, LA, at Noontime. You're going to have a lot of fun. But become a member. And tonight, stay with me because we have a big afternoon show and a brand new evening's LA show because those foursomeless checks are in every U.S. state. 
from my home to your home. Get ready. We got a lot of shows throughout the day. We're going to have a lot of fun, and we're going to get a lot of money. The toast is toast and the butter is buttering, and see you back in about one hour as noontime heats up at 11 a.m.